Oops. Right into my right ear. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I feel like my ear's ringing. Oh my gosh. And what's going on everybody? Welcome to another very special edition of Tyler Tries Hot Sauce. Uh, which has kind of morphed into Tyler tries hot sauce, hot peppers, occasional challenges, but it's okay. The reason why this is a special day is because we were at Inferno the other day and we got the infamous chocolate bootla. I'm scared to even touch. Look at how ugly this is. When we were in Inferno and we were trying the bootla, uh, we each had a little ring, just a little baby ring. And it was, we agreed it was like one of the hottest things we'd ever done. Uh, it's not on my channel, but I did eat a dried Carolina Reaper. That was so freaking hot. Um, but, this thing is as hot, lasted long, gave me cramps. We were both feeling under the weather for like half a day. I don't know what kind of response I'm gonna have. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. I'm not even gonna try to eat the whole thing. I'm actually scared. I'm honestly a little nervous. My mom would not approve of this. So if you're watching this, mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna eat part of this chocolate bula. Okay, so one more time, this is the uh, chocolate bootla developed near here in uh, Richmond Hill, Georgia, which is outside of Savannah, Georgia. We got it from our buddy Don down, uh, down at Inferno uh, on Tybee Island, and this is the chocolate bootla. Kind of do my best to describe the experience, but I'll tell you what it's going to be like. It's going to hurt. It's going to suck. <laughs> so here we go. So, not quite half the pod, but I bit the tail off. Sweet. Um. <laughs> Ooh. Now, I've said this when I had my seven pot brown. I don't really love the pepper taste, but uh, that was actually not hard to get down. Um, now I'm getting, um, it's coming up in, in the back of my, my mouth, in the back of my throat, the roof of my mouth. Uh, it's not anywhere else. I have it stuck in my teeth though, so I'm trying to get that down. Um, okay, I'm going to set this down for now, ride this out. Here's kind of what it felt like the first time we ate it. Paint's coming up. Here's what it looked like. Eat it. Pain. Maximum pain for a short period of time. So, maximum pain. Then it started to fall off pretty quick. Then it was at about 80% pain. And it stayed about there for a good 10 minutes. And then finally it started to fall off. So it went like this, up, down, and then fell off. Right now, I'm still going up and up and up. Oh, I'm not actually sweating as bad as I do, sometimes with some hot sauces, but, um, but I'm in pain. Um, I do feel it in my sinuses a little bit, in my ears. Uh, again, the roof of my mouth. So far, it's been actually pretty manageable. <laughs> um, oh, here's a good tip. Not only you should run your hands underwater, but you should wipe them and do something to make sure that you don't uh, you don't spread it to your eyes or to other places. I don't have any open cuts. You're supposed to have gloves, but I don't I don't have any gloves. Oh, so. 
Uh, I think I think I'm at that. I think actually I've hit that like spike and then plateau. Uh, oh. And uh, this is manageable, right where I'm at right now. Is manageable. It's actually it's actually I feel it coming back out of my ears. Uh, uh, lean into it. I think I got off easy. You think I should do a little more? <laughs> okay. So that was that was rough. Um, I'm still, you know, these things take ten minutes to get out of your system. Oh, and then, by the way, the aftermath. Ooh, nasty, nasty business. But I don't know the next time I'm gonna have a, a bootla like this. So, uh, there's what I had the first time. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit more. See if it's uh, manageable. Um, we also talked about pulled pork sandwiches, like kinda just slicing them up. I've seen I've seen a lot online that slicing one of these up, a super hot up, and putting it on a sandwich is a good way to go because it kind of distributes that capsation or capsaicin or however you say it throughout the bread and the toppings and everything else. So I guess the idea is I should uh, eat more because the sooner I eat it and get it down and out of my system, the sooner the pain's gonna go away. I'm still, I'm still right on that plateau. So actually the experience I had the first time was replicated the second time. So there's an intense period that lasts a pretty short amount of time. And then you just ride this heat, which I say is about 80% of uh, the total amount of pain you experience in your mouth. I'm salivating like always. I always tend to salivate a lot. Uh, here we go, here's a little bit more. I'll tell you a little bit more about the chocolate bootla as soon as I eat this. I'm scared. That's why I'm taking so long to do it. <sighs> All right, here we go. So, that one was a little juicier. Um, so that makes it harder to chew and get down for me, but when I had the Simpot Brown, I was so nauseous. I haven't I haven't had that yet with this. Oh, I did just get like a blast of heat though from the um, oh, it's hot. It's really hot. A blast of heat from the seeds. Ugh. Give me a second here. Okay. There was like a huge wave of heat from the uh, seeds in the placenta inside the, the, the casing, the walls. Oh, here it comes. Right into my right ear. Oh. <laughs> I feel like my ears are ringing. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, okay. Here we go. Going up to the top. Mount Everest here. Ugh. Right in my right ear. Okay. Still climbing. So the chocolate bootla developed not far from here by a guy named Steve McLaren, I believe. I have not met him yet. From what I heard, it was a uh, offshoot of a ghost and a seven pot dougla that could be wrong so please if you know fact check me ah oh my gosh 
It's like the right side of my skull. <laughs> I'm, my mouth's actually pretty good, but my uh, right in my ear, <sighs> right in my ear canal, it's crazy. So anyway, Steve, I believe, sold the rights to Puckerbutt, who smoked Ed Curry and developed the Carolina Reaper, Pepper X, a lot of the sauces that you see on hot ones, the peppers that go into those sauces. Um, and he sold, Steve sold the rights to Ed to Puckerbutt. And then Puckerbutt developed a sauce called Chocolate Plague which is one of the few sauces that feature the chocolate bootla. Okay, it's coming out of my right ear. Same pattern. Intense, and now I'm at 80%. And it's manageable because I know I'm past the worst part of it. At least up here. I don't know what it's going to be like down here and later tonight or tomorrow. Uh, Oh man, that was, it was hot. Uh, you also may know this. Uh, oh, pepper all over again. It's called the fireball brewing in my stomach. Uh, you also may know that each time the pepper is grown, uh, it can vary a little bit. And um, some are hotter than others. Who the grower is, grower is, what the conditions are, light conditions, fertilizer conditions. It can affect the heat of the uh, of the pepper. But the chocolate boot. Uh, sorry for this, everybody. <coughs> the chocolate boot uh, is nothing to be messed with. It is a hot pepper. Where, it is, where is it on the Scoville scale? Let's find out. Now I have capsation on my phone, so I'm going to have to wipe this down later. Uh, chocolate, Bootla, SHU, which is Scoville heat units. Two million Scoville heat units. Uh, let's see where that compares to a ghost. Ghost pepper SHU. One million. The Reaper. Carolina Reaper is supposedly average SHU of 1.6. Peaks at 2.2 million. So Carolina Reaper has the record for the hottest pepper in the world. Chocolate Bootla does not have that record, but Chocolate Bula is up there with the hottest of the hots. So it just goes to show that I can handle the heat. Uh, no competitive chili eater by any means, but I did manage to eat about half of this Ugh. nasty looking Chocolate Bula pepper. Um, I'm feeling the pain now in the, basically like the right side of my mouth. Uh, and um, it's still in my ear a little bit. Uh, these burps do not taste good. They do not feel good. Uh, and my stomach is really starting to bubble up and uh, give me some pain. Some issues. Now the Reaper was absolutely the worst experience. That was god awful. And that took three hours. But uh but that was horrible. But I did it. I, I you know that's the Mount Everest of chili peppers, so I'm not even gonna try eating the whole thing. There's no point. I just eat enough to get the experience, call it good. And then just go lay down on the couch and die for a while. Just to say I did. Um, I think that's it for me. I'm going to have to go into the uh, aftermath 
phase of the chocolate bula, of which I do not film. Um, starting to get cap cramps in my stomach, but my mouth's probably at, I don't know, 70% or 60%. So that's it for me. Don, thank you again for hooking us up with the chocolate bula. Um, that was, that was gnarly. Um, but we, we, we really appreciate it. We're brave. We both tried it. Um, and it hurt us, but it didn't stop us from trying it again, which is probably the definition of either, uh, sadism or, or just idiocy. I'm not sure which, but, uh, but we enjoy it. I enjoy it. Everyone out there, thank you for watching. Um, the words have just been like taken right out of me. I gotta go. I gotta go and uh, deal with this now. So thanks for watching. If you have suggestions for hot sauces you'd like me to try, drop below. I'm doing more videos each week and I uh, really appreciate you watching and, and uh, showing your love. Um, so I'll see you in the next video and, and, and thanks again.